Oh, share password. Love it when that happens. When it's like share password, and you're like, oh. Okay. What have you done that? Have you just shared it? Uh huh. What with me? Yeah. So what do I do now? You're now on the Wi Fi. What am I just on it? Yeah. But I didn't write it in. Oh. Well, does it say you're on the Wi Fi? Yeah. Well, there you go. We're on the Wi Fi. How cool is that? That's tech right there. Technology. So do I still have to write it in? No. We are on the Wi Fi. You're worse than my dad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the little turn of the neck. Okay. We're in. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, this is really important. Pete's got his ankles out. Oh my God. Look at your little pasty ankles. They're not paste. Like little piglet trotters. Why have you got grass stains on your knees? Do I? What the fuck have you been doing? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> Oh, that was it. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Um, should we do this? We're doing a, like a podcast thing, aren't we? <laughs> let's go. I'm ready. All right. Far away. Go. We'll start with a bonus. Welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast with two bestest of best pals, Peter James Jonathan Joseph James Wicks and Sam Thompson. It is just Peter James Wicks. Um, I will be swearing. If you don't like that, <laughs> yourself. There is booze available to me. However... Yes, I said, however, <laughs> I am uh, not drinking today. Why is that? Just on a health kick? Yeah, I'm just on a health kick. I don't drink on Fridays now. Can I say something to you? Well, I'm going to tell you anyway, but your eyes look so blue at the moment. Yeah, don't they just? Like ocean blue. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this You've is the bonus your episode. Beard. I have trimmed my beard, yeah. It's very short at the minute. Yeah, but I like it's it. It's been for a long time. I know. Um, so I, this is Thursday's episode, so that is the bonus. So you can watch this on Sunday, and obviously Monday's episode, which is the main episode, um, uh, you can watch on Fridays when that comes out on YouTube. So make sure you follow us, rate, review, do all that crap. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram. Uh, Snappy C and TikTok at mm -hmm. the name of the podcast. Mm -hmm. um, and we might as well do it because it pisses some people off and some people love it. Because it's Monday, Thursday, Thursday Friday, Friday Sunday. Sunday. And again, but just from the crew. Monday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. I'm like a conductor of idiots. It's great. <laughs> um, uh, so obviously, this being the bonus episode, it's all about you. Apart from Sam, put it down. Sorry, I just Leave feel it. like people want to see it. No, they can see it. They've believe, seen it. We did. We basically did a whole episode on it. Yeah, I know, but I just want to... Okay, this is the bonus episode. It's not about Sam or his picture. It's about you. Um, so we need you to write in with your dilemmas, letters, and all that sort of stuff. We make it interesting. Um, and if you are going to send us stuff, then send it to stayinrelevant at insanityhq.com. Put the fucking picture Sorry, down, Sorry, but it just keeps Sam. turning. I just feel like we need to have equal coverage, you know? <laughs> Mine keeps turning back round. Okay, I think that's probably a sign. Um, <laughs> right. Fuck? Shall we crack the fuck on? Let's crack on. Let's dive into Sam this. the infamous purple hoodie. I am. I actually did think that when I put it on. I went, I know I'm going to get rinsed for this, but it's a lovely hoodie. Purple hoodie and grass stains. Oh, I'm actually wearing the exact same outfit. This is date night outfit. This is date night. Yeah, yeah. not that bad, is it? No, you look fucking awful. No, I don't. That's not true. Um, also, uh, whilst we're doing this, because we're going to do it on, on every kind of episode but as this is the bonus one where it's about you we also need you for the live show um so if you're going to the live show we want to hear from you um because there's a chance we may need you to take part we want good stories things that might happen that are embarrassing basically anything that makes you sound like a complete cock we want to know about it yeah. um so again staying relevant at insanity hq for that um you may also be on stage at some point so um just make an effort to look nice and um don't get too drunk uh, no do get drunk we yeah, love it do, when no, you're drunk do get drunk because i'll be fucking yeah get hammered i might even have a tipple so that's something to look forward to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I go wild. Sam having a tipple. And we are going to do this, by the way. I am, and I'm not going to look at Pete because I know what he's going to say, but I am going to try and crowd surf. Yeah, I've decided. I actually had a dream about it. I'm going to dive into the crowd at the live show. I'm going to tell them I'm doing it first. I'm going to like give them a pre-warning and be like, guys, I'm going to dive in. I am just going to put this out there. It's not going to happen. It is going to happen. I'm going to ask their permission first. So I'm going to be like, guys... I would love to do a crowd surf. Like, how do you feel about that? And if they go, yeah, then I'm going to dive in. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I don't have anything to say because I have discussed this already with you that they're, it's not a mosh pit. Yeah. They're not close enough together to be able to carry you. 
then chance you're going to be dropped on a chair <laughs> um, and either decapitated or just winded. I'm going to try. I am going to try. I can't wait. Okay. While Sam's doing that, I will be on my way to the after party. Which, by the way, I'm getting an awful lot of messages from people um, wanting to come out for after party drinks with me. No way. Yeah, I seem to be getting a, a lot of people saying that they're coming to different venues. Where is the after party? I really want to have a drink with you. Um, All shall be revealed. Yeah, I am absolutely not telling any of you. So, um, listen to let <laughs> Sorry, I've just packed the chewing gum out. <laughs> <laughs> right, so for anyone I'll put who's that, listening, I'll put audibly, that back in. it could have been worse. I thought that might have been my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, just he just spat his dentures out. I tell you, so this is letters. <laughs> have you got the video of me crowd surfing? Yeah. Shut up. Oh. Yeah. I've done it before, yeah. I cannot believe this has only come out now. We're a year in. Did I send it to you? Oh my god, so this is why I love oh I've got to stop screeching. No, I've told you before I've got no, so. I know you have, but this is why our listeners are so brilliant. So we well, have been sent in it. Yes, we have been sent in by our beautiful listeners a video of Pete crowd surfing. This is gonna be amazing! I've not even seen it, let's have a look. You're on someone's back. Let me have a look. You're jumping around on someone's back. You're loving it! That's not crowd surfing. You want to see actual crowd surfing? You're loving it! <laughs> that was halfway, that was after the crowd surf. Whose shoulders are you on? Uh, one of the security guys. Um, the actual crowd surf, if you want, I'll show you. And that's where I'm getting punched in the dick. <laughs> Um, how do I do this? Do you know what? Pete on a night out, just honest, it's like you're too, you're like a contrast of a human. Like you're sat here, he's a little bit like moody and he's a bit like whatever. Get into one of them clubs, he's bouncing and going like this on someone's shoulders. It's wild. This is the actual crowd surf. Oh, go on, turn it up. Oh my God, oh my God. He's, to... <laughs> he's been lifting. <laughs> you, get, you just got punched in the dick there. Oh, I just saw someone do it. Someone just punched you in the dick. No joke. I was in a car park in Wales. But that's the actual crowd surf. That bit was the bit after where um, uh, I'd got to the back and then needed to come back to the front. So the security guard got on his back and then just, just I spent 20 minutes just in the, just stealing drinks from people, really, as I go. Well, I sat on someone's shoulders. High-fiving people and whatnot. My so favourite thing. That was the aftermath of the crowd surf. My favourite thing of that is, is the guy on the mic going, yee-haw! <laughs> Good it used time. to be so fun. <laughs> so I am still very fun. But in a different way. Well, I'm old now. Yeah, well, exactly. You've gone up an age bracket and that always changes things, doesn't but it? But I'm still fun. What do you mean I'm not fun? You're fun in like, you know when the no, old guy sits on his rocking chair and talks about yesteryear? Like that's, your stories are great. Oh, all right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to crowd surf then. That's staying relevant. There Fuck we it. go. I'm still fucking fun. Let's do it. We'll both crowd surf and then we'll meet in the middle and touch hands. <laughs> hands. Right, should we just do this bonus episode because we just waffled again about nothing. <laughs> but I am still fun. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, he's back. <laughs> I just want everyone to be aware of that because we've gone off topic there. And as you know, I like... You like structure. Structure. Is our Peter. So, um, listener letters. Here we go. Uh, from Lucy. Subject, can... Canvas of Pete for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Hi, I could not share this with you. It looks like Pete is no longer fitting with this family's home decor. Wow. What do you mean? <laughs> that's well, that's it. That's... Well, thank you for giving it home, Lucy. <laughs> we really appreciate it. <laughs> ah! Someone had that in their gaff and they sent it in! Come on! Oh, I just kissed it. What has been on there? I just had... I just had a balayage done. I remember this really well. Hey, I knew you at this point. God, I've aged terribly. You have. See, that's when you were fun. There's a lot of Pete memorabilia flying around at the moment. Where's the Sam memorabilia? That is... Um, I don't even know what to say about that. How sweet is that? Yeah, she found it for... So, how much was someone selling for this for? A this fiver. Was a five pounds. A fiver for We're this. going up in the world. <laughs> Gone up two pounds and a penny. That was charity shop. And this is Facebook, Facebook Marketplace. Marketplace. Wonderful. So, I am, um, weirdly, because I'm now going on to uh, listener letter number two from Alice. Subject, Marketplace Pete Pick. 
Hi guys, love the pod. In addition to charity shop Pete, we now have marketplace Pete. I've sent them a message. We'll see what they say as I think five pounds is a bit much. <laughs> is that for that? So Alice didn't buy it, but Lucy did. Oh. oh, two people spotted it. This is amazing. So we've gone viral. So basically what's happened here, just to let the audience know, right? We've had two lovely ladies who are listeners who have spotted a Pete Wicks canvas on Facebook Marketplace. So, uh, no, hold on a second. So Lucy and Alice both noticed this, yeah. but neither of them sent this. Because what I've got down here is Alice actually arranged for us to pick the canvas up from Andover from a lovely lady called Debbie. Sorry, one of you went and picked this up? Charlotte, you legend! No! <laughs> oh, Charlotte, you are such a so sweetheart. So, Chaz, when... Uh, so, let me get this right, because this is slightly blowing my mind. Lucy and Alice noticed a picture. All right, that was being sold on Facebook Marketplace. From Alice Debbie. then arranged for you, Chaz, to go and pick up on a Saturday from Andover this picture from the lady who was selling it, who I imagine is called Debbie. Debbie was selling this. Why was Debbie selling this? You've changed a lot. <laughs> and did you tell Debbie why you were there to pick it up? Yeah. And what did Debbie say? So producer Charlotte went and picked this up from an older lady. <laughs> called Debbie. <laughs> now, when I say old lady, she's, you know, it, I, I would imagine in the latter 60s. So you appear, you, we always knew you appealed, though, to the, to the slightly older generation. Debbie, we are so grateful that you were, well, that you were selling this. <laughs> Debbie, I'm For just going to point, listen, Debbie, uh, at one point in your life, you had great taste. Um, the fact you've got rid of it, slightly disappointing. Um, however, thank you. Do you know what I love is that we always guessed that was his demographic. I, I have said for a long time that I appeal to uh, an older lady because they like a little bit rough. Um, so it's the mums and nans and the, the, the what do you call them? Boomers. Yeah, I'll pass that. Is Gen it? X. Or, no, What's not Gen X. They're, they're All right. Pre, they're World War II. All right. Well, listen, if you survived the war, at least you can take... <laughs> <laughs> at least you can take some comfort in having my picture on your wall. <laughs> Oh my God, we got an easel. Look, look, <clears throat> so what's happened in that little break, I don't know if we're gonna show that, but uh, it took three people to set up an easel um, and put this picture up. We've also found out some more facts um, from Chaz's trip. Um, she made a day of it um, because she took the fiance and dog. Um, so if we can just imagine uh, Chaz turning up to buy my canvas with her fiance, who must have thought, what the fuck are we doing in Andover? And the dog going into an elderly lady's home to pay five pounds for this. Did you tip? And no. that, Did Charlotte, you... is why you're the best producer around. <laughs> Round of applause for Charlotte, who has nothing better to do on a weekend than go and pick this up. And that and actually, is why we love you. I feel like we should have a round of applause for Charlotte's fiance <laughs> for, um, Staying with you, I think, <laughs> would be the first thing. So, round of applause. Um, we also just found out a little bit of fact about where I was situated in Debbie's home. Pride of place. Um, and it was on the bedroom wall. It was. So, <laughs> this gets worse because we're all congratulating Chaz on the fact that she went and got this picture. Um, what a lovely person. She tried to haggle the elderly lady down because she didn't want to pay five pounds for me. And that's what we do at Staying Relevant. Everything Jesus is a business Christ. opportunity with us. Wow. Um, excellent. Well, so is that now staying up there? Yeah. Is that okay? We're going to just Wonderful. keep going, man. This is amazing. Although I need something. Like, I think you should go to the youngers and see if any of the younguns have me. So... Um, uh, all right, let's do that. If you have any random pictures of Sam, and that doesn't mean, because I imagine all you young people that like Sam are just so happy to be famous or mention the podcast, that you'll just print off a picture and then go, I've had this in my room for a year and it's just a picture you've printed off. No, I want someone to actually have some sort of canvas or some sort of Sam memorabilia hanging in their house that you are willing to sell to Chaz and her fiancé and dog. I don't know... Like, I don't even care where I'm situated. As long as I'm situated somewhere in your abode. Like, but it I'm needs not to be bothered. real, because I feel like... Why you're... do you think it's not real? People have met Sam memorabilia. <laughs> silence. Full-blown fucking silence there. Wow. Listener dilemma. Uh, next up. Um, Sam, would you like to read this? Listener letter. Here we go. <clears throat> it's from Caris. Carrie. Carries. Carries. It's a C with an Aries there. I'm going with carries. 
It's Carey's, isn't it? I I'm just enjoying this. Or is it a silent C? Is it Ceres? No, it's Carey's. Right. I'm making a decision. We're going Carey's. Afternoon, guys. I definitely don't need therapy after listening to you guys. Absolutely class. I, I, to be honest with you, that was weird. I imagine most people would need therapy after this, not the other way around. So I don't know why you are. Why are you doing that? Because we, I've been told by so many people that we put a smile on people's faces, especially when they're running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they're on the commute. People yeah. love it and they always go, oh, and then I start laughing. So we make people laugh. We're actually, but we're not the joke. <laughs> we're not the joke, but we make people laugh. They're laughing with us, not at us. <laughs> anyway, Carrie's. I've moved home, and the walls are proven very thin. Lately, there's strange sexual noises banging coming from next door, but only on certain nights. Monday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday, Sunday. I only noticed, as it's always on the night of my next day off work. Now, I'm finding myself turning my TV up very loudly. I would have thought she would have noticed the volume of my TV. There is a man that's coming out early hours, but it's not next door's husband or partner! Oh, my God, someone's cheating! Do I ask her just one-to-one -to, -one to shut the fuck up and I don't want to hear her or do I just do nothing? Thanks, guys. Oh, no, I'd go in and be like, I'm so sorry, but where's the fiancé? Partner. No, you wouldn't. You're fucking right. You or, or I would do what I keep seeing on TikTok at the moment and I would go, have you seen these things where they ring the ring doorbell and they leave a note on the ring doorbell and they go, hi, my name's Jonathan, I live next door. Look, you don't know me, but you know, guy to guy, basically your wife's having an affair. It wasn't from me, but I keep seeing the car coming in. That's what I would do because then you're being a good Samaritan for the boys. <laughs> what would you do? You're the geezer coming out. <laughs> That's your issue. Um, <laughs> just let him live. Um, no, listen, obviously, like, if it's disrupting you, then you speak to him. You don't mention that it's not the husband. We'll what? go around that. I've noticed that you seem to be very loud when having sex, and I've also noticed it ain't your husband. Fuck, mate, how that cool is that? That doesn't need to be in. Just sh tell her to shut the fuck up, basically, but you just don't need to mention the fact that it's not the husband. Stay, don't get involved. Oh, I love it, gossip. No, you can't get involved in them things, because, listen, good people make bad decisions. Oh, no, but we love it. Me and Zara call it gossip. Yeah, 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 we love it. If Good that was one. our next gossip, if that was our next gossip. door neighbor, yeah, gossip. If I, if that was gossip, gossip, but we right. don't in our own way. Go on, gossip. If I called Zara now, do you and Zara ever talk to each other in your actual accent, Zara? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just not all the time. And uh, but we, if 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 we were next door neighbors, oh my god, the. Field day I would be having. I'd be leading over It would the be fence. a nightmare if it was your next door neighbours because that's your sister. Okay. So I, I can't imagine that would be a great one for you. <laughs> and I can't imagine you'd go around and be like, no, that's not Ryan. Yeah, you know Ooh, what I mean? gossip. <laughs> but I would, if it, okay, if it wasn't my sister, if it was the other neighbour, right, who I get along with really well as well, then I'd be peering over that fence. I can't tell you. I'd be like, oh my God, you'll never that, be that, in there that, again. But that makes you a peeping Tom. So, and I think that then that, that makes it even more complicated because then what you've got is you've got someone having an affair while someone watches. And then that makes it very weird. That I, I would have Because then does she come over and say, listen, I wish you'd stop, you know, watching me have sex with the partner that isn't my husband. I just think that you've got to say something. I think say something about the fact that it's noisy. No, no, you no, need to no. Get no. Your sleep and if you've got work and shit. Harris, you legend. All I would do if I were you is I would literally make it, I'd do a subliminal. I'd be like, Oh, I'd go to the husband! I'd go to the... I'd go to the hubby. So what I'd do, right, is I would go to the husband and be like, hi, I'm really sorry, thinking it was him, thinking, and be like, hi, I'm really sorry, this is really awkward. But, like, every Monday, Thursday, Friday and Sunday, yeah, we... the, the noise of you having sex is just so loud. Yeah. I'm at work on those days. Oh, no, mm. what have I done? Are you? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, see, that's less because then you can just play fucking... Subliminal. Yeah, well, it's not something You're just playing innocent. Yeah, exactly, because then... It's not particularly subliminal. And you see his face. It's, in fact, it's kind of the opposite. And you see that. his face, so when he goes like this, he goes, well... And you're like, oh. Yeah, it's just that when you're, you know, you're quite loud. I feel like you've come away from the problem, which is that it's very noisy, and you're just now interested in the gossip. Yeah, the oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Um, is that... Did I do it <laughs> the right? The gossip. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, actually, yeah, two options then. Don't mention the, the fact that she's getting fucked by someone else that's not a husband and just mention the noise. Or go to the husband and ask him to keep it down on the nights that he's not there. Question, question for you, Pete. All right, let's just do a little bit of role play before we move on. It's not me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... Okay. You are Carrie's. 
right? And she, and I'm the husband. She's not even caring. And I'm the husband, right? So I'm walking to my car to go for a day's work, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to my realtor job. I'm going, open the car door. Realtor? This is in LA, is it? I don't, I don't know. He's state agent. Okay, going to my state agent job, right? And I go into the car, boop, boop, opens up. Because he probably, yeah, he's it's got a special car. He's got BMW, it? I reckon. Okay. And so he gets to the door open. They're right? notorious for the bup, bup. And then uh, you and then you come out. What are you saying to me? Oh, hi, Pete. Your grass is looking a little bit dicey. Do you want to use the mower 3000? I mean, you're doing it. You've asked me and you're doing it for yourself. Well, no, because I'm just treating you like a normal neighbour. So who am I? You're oh, the sorry, neighbor, I was you're carries. The, the boop, boop. Oh, right. Um, yeah, no, the grass is fucked. But I'll see what else is fucked, your wife. Um, no, be no. serious. Um, yeah, actually, I'm glad I ran into you. Um, I've got something I just want to talk to you about. It's a little bit delicate, but um, you make a lot of noise on the nights that I'm supposed to be going to work. You know, it's always on my days off. It's on a Monday, a Thursday, Friday, and a Sunday. You know, At these times, which is when I know you're at work. And we all like to have fun. But if you could just keep it down. Well, I'm not home at those. Oh, no, then you do that. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but I'm not home at those times. What What does it sound like? Oh. Oh, look, you know, don't worry. It's nothing. Oh, no, it hurts Listen, my soul. nothing to do with me. I don't, I don't know. I just assumed that you'd be home because it sounded like, you know. Oh, that's hurt my... You know when so, you get that weird feeling but, in your butthole? But I must be wrong. I must be wrong. It just seems to have happened regularly every, every time on those oh. days for the past number of weeks. And I just wanted you to keep it down. But if you're not there, then I must be mistaken. Fucking hell. Storm anyway, straight back in have a house. lovely day. Bye. Rocky started. Margaret, get out here now. I Pretty can't funny. believe that. That's one of the best listening letters I think we've ever had. That's well done, one. Carries. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Carries. How would you say it? Um, Carries. You said that was so much a plum, and now it sounds right. Karis. Because it is right, isn't it? Karis. Yeah. No, because it'd be an I. Yeah, if you spelled it with an I, it would be an I. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, Karis, for your listen. It does sound right. Karis, thank you so much. Because and I'm sorry right. for calling you Karis. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you. Enjoyed that one. Good. Fucking brilliant. Good. Spot on. Be a Karis. Well yeah. done. Um, right, that's it for the bonus episode. That's been a delightful one. It's mostly been about um, Debbie and Karis. Your lips look so full in that, by the way. <laughs> have you noticed that? It I look have... so full. But do you know what? I have got really good lips. No, you're not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they get deflated. I've, I've actually got really good lips. No, no, your lips look good there. Well, no, listen, you're only saying this because you don't have a top lip. They look lip. thin. I do have a top lip. You don't have a top I lip. Do have a top no, lip. it's pathetic. <laughs> what do you mean? No. Someone told me this before. Yeah, you don't have a top lip. Yeah, yeah, I, I go I'm... from teeth to moustache. And do, do you know what's... Um, <laughs> I like that. I always know when it's something that hits home with you because you get defensive quick. Yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> I have been told that. I need to... Maybe I'll get some filler. Anyway, thank you for listening to Stan Relevant. Um, it's been delightful. Enjoyed that bonus episode. Uh, make sure you watch this on Sunday when it comes out. Uh, tomorrow, you'll be able to watch Monday's episode, which is the main episode, which is a really good one. Um, I, and I'm thinking in advance because I've not recorded it yet, but I think it's going to be a really good one. We've got a lot to talk about. We've got a, a lot, lot to talk, to talk about. about. Um, so, yeah, anything you want to say? Well, I've you? just really enjoyed this bonus episode. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like it's been one of our highlights, actually, of the week. So. Yeah. Yeah, I've really enjoyed myself. We've now got an added Pete sort of uh, memorabilia. It's kind of stacking up a little bit and almost encroaching onto my side. So I think we need to do well, something Well, we can just it. take it down. I'm not... No, uh, no, we should I have mean, it. you put it up. I, well, uh, no, all of you put it up. I couldn't give a fuck we if it's We do have an easel, though. And we don't have a screen anymore, so we've just got Pete. Yeah, th this worries me because I feel like it's just going to start being... Why like, do you not do balayages anymore? Why? Because um, if you see there, I look fucking stupid. No, you used to love a belly. Um, and also, um, I mean, this was a good few years ago. The hairline is really good there. It is good there. It's fucking, fucking gone terribly recently, it's isn't really it? really bad, isn't it? Mm. We've really Out both of lips. us. Because weirdly enough, actually, um, with your hair today specifically, because it looks even more straw, it's very thin at the front as well. <laughs> No! So, so uh, it's not as bad as mine at the front, but we just thought yours was going at the back. But I am seeing scalp. 
And I don't know if it's because the light's right above your head. I think it is. Anyway, we'll discuss this after. Um, but make sure you rate, review, follow us on Instagram, um, TikTok, YouTube, and Snappy C. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. Are we still doing Snappy C? We are doing Snappy C. We are still C, doing yeah. it. Do and it. also, you've been a bit slow on the reviews, you lazy fuckers. So if you could write some more reviews, that would be great because we enjoy reading them. Because sometimes they're funny. I really like them. I really like them. I'm done. I'm oh, done. right, cool. Thank you guys so much. We love you, and I really feel... I'm feeling really good. Yeah, bye. Be All right, see you later. Fucking boiling.